it's kind of giving, <laughs> you know, Vanderpump rule. <laughs> Which, by the way, is in stock. Oh. I'm sick. <laughs> Brows are cooking away. This ain't Texas. I get a percentage commission. I've woken up in the most like CBA mood. Good morning from me and my beautiful tulips. I picked these up for four pounds from Aldi yesterday and they're blooming quite beautifully. I'm very happy with them, they look really cute. So love that, it's bringing a nice little spring moment into the living room. But happy Monday guys, how are we doing? Have we had a good weekend? Are you looking forward to a new week? Have you got good things planned? Maybe it's a bit of a rubbish one coming up so we can think of some good things to do this week. Hopefully this vlog inspires you with some of those things. This week for me is quite an exciting one. Obviously I had my event the other day, which was so much fun. I love doing those events so much. Like they genuinely bring me so much joy and just thinking of fun things to do and like, having fun just chatting to new people talking to you guys like it's honestly i just love them so much i think they're so much fun so that one was quite quite a good event i really liked it really good group of girls the only thing i will say is i didn't really manage to vlog very much because i was just really busy like trying to be in the moment and do all the things and stuff and it's i find i find the events quite difficult to like vlog and do content which is why i usually bring friends and stuff with me because it's just it's a lot it's a lot to do and I'm trying to be there and I'm trying to be present and not like shoving cameras in people's faces and stuff. But this week, I have a very exciting gala this week, which is at the National History Museum, which is so unreal. I literally can't wait. I think it's going to be the best thing ever. It's going to be so much fun. So this package has just turned up from Nadine Marabi, which is for that event. And I'm really hoping that it fits and that it's beautiful and that I just love it so much because this is like iconic. This is the kind of outfit that I don't think I'll wear too often because quite honestly, I just don't know if I have the occasions to wear something like this very often, but it's gorgeous. So this is the Bella jumpsuit. Um, this is what it looks like. I, I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous because I actually don't know what kind of shoes to wear with this or anything either. So we'll see how this goes, but this is, oh my God, it's stunning. It's a jumpsuit, so I've got a black tie event and I thought I could either go for a dress or we could go for a jumpsuit. So I thought, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna go for a jumpsuit. We're gonna go all out. This is what it looks like. It looks like this. So it's got shoulder pads in it and it's like a long sleeved, long jumpsuit. It looks quite long, I'll be honest, but I think when it's on, it might be different because obviously when I'm holding it up flat, it's not fitting to like the curves of my body or anything, but it's stunning. Like it's actually stunning. So it looks like this and it's like slightly flared at the bottom. And then it has a belt that goes around the waist, which is like corseted. So it sits like around your waist, which I thought was like just stunning. So I'm gonna give it a try on, I think a bit later. I could try it on now, but I've just like battled to get into my this. So we're not gonna try it on right now, but it's so cute. I really love this. I love the fact it's got the shoulder pads too, because I think it will silhouette it really beautifully. It is very long. Oh my God, I'm so excited to wear this. I just think it's absolutely stunning. It's so perfect for like a black tie event. Oh, I love. So we'll give that a try. I'll leave a link to Nadine Marabi actually and to this specific jumpsuit if you're interested because they have beautiful stuff. Especially if you are looking for something bridal, they've got really gorgeous white bits and like cream dresses and stuff. This actually does come in cream, I'm pretty sure. So there's lots of bits on there if you're looking for that kind of thing or just, you know, you want something maybe not as sparkly, but something for like a specific occasion. They do really good wedding guest bits, etc. I got my feather pyjamas from there actually, which I really love. And they fit like an absolute dream, they're really lovely. And I've got a, a white pearl blazer from them, which has got like pearls like all down the arm, which is gorgeous. But yes, love, absolutely love. So, so beautiful, mm -hmm. stunning. Gonna be wearing that potentially for the event. More than likely wearing that for the event if it fits. If it doesn't fit, then we'll have to reevaluate. I ordered a couple of last minute bits on ASOS for a panic because I was gonna do a rental forgot to order a rental. Then I was gonna wear my white pearl dress, but it's currently been sent out, but the Royal Mail have really messed up and sent it, and it was meant to arrive the next day. It's now four days later, it still hasn't turned up at her house, which is freaking great. So there's lots of drama with dresses, but that's my front runner. That's more than likely gonna be what I wear. I just need to find some shoes that work with it. I'm thinking just some like really minimal, like slingbacks or something to be honest, because you can't see them anyway. Like you're literally not gonna be able to see my feet. 
So maybe we do that. Or I've got some really nice chunky platforms, but I don't know if they're going to be like really hard to walk in. <laughs> we'll see. But I'm taking myself to work from a coffee shop today. Like I've already said. Have I said? I don't know if I've said. But I'm going to take myself to work from Gail's because I just really need to get some stuff done. And I know that I'm way more productive when I work there. So I'm going to try and get some podcast bits edited. I think I've got all of it already on my laptop. If not, I need to quickly go and get it onto my laptop. But I've got um, a solo episode that I want to get edited and one with my friend Jade. And then I did two last week, which I really do need to... Um, I really do need to get edited, but I need to wait for their video to be able to do it. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think I need to... Oh no, let me get the memory card out. I think we might have deleted the episode. Whoopsie daisy flip. <laughs> do anything today i've woken up in the most like cba mood <laughs> and typically it's the day that i plan to do loads so that's really fun but i'm um i'm gonna try and get through my workload for the day and get a couple of bits filmed a couple of bits done i think once i get up off the sofa i'll be fine but i didn't go to the gym this morning we didn't end up going to bed till like midnight or something and um it threw me off this morning. I woke up at seven. I just did not want to go to the gym. And our gym at the moment is having work done anyway. So like half of it's bloody shut. So the only thing you can use is cardio machines, which also put me off going because I don't want to go and just walk when I could just walk here or um, like walk outside or whatever. So I think, I think we're just gonna have a productive day. I think we're just gonna have a nice old chilled, easy day. Um, get some bits done. Oh, I don't know. I'm really tired. I definitely find not going to the gym really affects my ability to start working in the mornings. So that's part of why I go, even if I just walk for like 20 minutes, because it just gets me up and out of the house and gets me awake. But I'm having my one caffeinated coffee of the day and then we're gonna chill and get bits done. Right, let's do this. I've had my shower, I've brushed my teeth, I've done my gratitude, I've done all that stuff. Let's start doing my makeup and getting myself like ready to go. Good morning from me and my little cup of hot coffee. I'm very, very, very cold. I am having my second one of the day. I know I said I was giving up caffeine, but I don't have any decaf instant and I don't have any decaf pods. So I just thought, you know what? Today we can have two because I really need it. Like today I am struggling. I did, however, try and give myself some kind of like mini blow dry vibe with my um, straighteners. I don't know if I love it but it's cute, it's, it's fine for now. I've filmed two videos, no, correction, I filmed one video, I'm about to film my second video. I actually thought it was later in the day, but it's only 11 o'clock, so we're doing, well, it's 10 to 11, so we're doing quite well. I just feel like it's so much later and I don't know why, like I've been up since seven, but I think maybe where I would normally be getting back from the gym at like eight, the time I would normally hit this point would be about one. So we're getting there and we're powering through, but I'm gonna try and film a little, fashion-y video for you. I'm thinking of doing like bags, my, like my entire bag collection basically. So all of the bags that I have, whether I regret them, whether I'm glad I invested in them, um, like my high street ones, my designer ones, the whole lot. There's not that many. I think I've actually, I know I've got four dumpling bags, but overall I don't think there's that many. I think it just is the fact that I've got a couple of colors of the dumpling one. Um, so I thought it'd be quite a nice one to do because then I can talk you through all of the styles and why I like certain bags, why I regret buying certain bags or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And um, I think, well, this is really, really hot. I think I might try and just literally power through today and just keep filming because I don't know if I'm necessarily in the mood still, but I feel a bit more awake and alive since I had my breakfast this morning. And I also had this it's called Six Ways. I had this like focus powder. It's like focus and energy and I mixed it with my morning greens and it's perked me up a little bit. I do need to keep drinking water though because I've got really bad at drinking water recently. So I'm on that. I've got this going and I really need to crack on. 
I think I'm just a bit zoned out. You know, we have different times of the month where like as a woman, you have more energy, more productivity, more motivation. And then other times you have literally zero. I'm in that time where I have literally zero. So we're trying, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna get as much done as we possibly can. I've got a gala tomorrow. And it's for Light Snow, which is the platform that we all use online to link things, the affiliate platform, etc. So I'm gonna do my brows and my lashes because I haven't done them in a really long time. And I actually saw my previous video of like doing them for the first time. I'll leave it linked in the cards in the description, but I saw how good they looked and I was like, why on earth? Am I not doing these more often? Like I never really, I haven't laminated my brows in a really long time and I haven't dyed them in a while either. So we're gonna dye and laminate. So I'm gonna put the tint on my brows and like get that started. And then we're gonna do my lash tint. And then we're gonna, we're gonna try and do both at once so it's really quick, but wish me luck. Hopefully they go well, this is the before. If you wanna see how I do them, I recommend going back and checking out the other video because I literally did the whole thing. Um, but this is the before, let me get really close. We'll ignore my lovely spot on my forehead, but this is what they look like. My lashes are done. I don't think I left the tint on for long enough. I don't know if you can see. Brows are cooking away. <laughs> okay, they're done. The dye is still a little bit on my head, so they're a tiny, tiny bit blue but I have filled them in and stuff and sorted them out and they are much better. I always find my brows look nicer when I freshly dyed them because the hairs are just a bit darker, they look a bit more there. Like I fill them in ever so slightly because I'm trying to get them thick again. So my brows have gone a bit sparse. So we're using castor oil. Castor oil is much cheaper than um, brow growth and lash growth serums, but it's literally the same thing. And it's actually better for your brows. It's got less crap in it. So um, I've been using that, but fairly bushy. I haven't filled them in too much actually, but the dye is obviously still on my skin. So once the dye is gone from my skin and the blue is gone, then they'll look their best. But a few parcels have come, so I thought I would just show you what I've got because I'm not entirely sure what's here, but we've got four parcels. I think one might be James's actually. Oh no, it's mine. We're gonna keep all the packaging for vintage because it's really, really handy to have. Okay, so first up from Wren, we have their PHA exfoliating facial, the new two minute exfoliating facial with instant results for the most sensitive skin. That sounds exciting. So we've got one of those from Ren. There's a little how to thing here as well, which should be handy. So it says glow without irritation. Launches on the 1st of March. Powerful triple action formula, proven to brighten, soften and refine skin texture instantly. Ooh, okay. We'll be giving that a try tonight because that sounds really good. What else have we got here? I always say to reuse these and I do reuse them because honestly like these parcel bags are completely fine There's nothing wrong with them. So there's no harm in me reusing that to post something off to someone on vintage Like it gives it a second life. Otherwise, it's literally just going in the bin and what good is that? None. It's no good. It shouldn't be done. We should use them until they're literally falling apart um, So I, I, I would hope that when I post things to people they also reuse the bags, but I mean that's on you to do that bit but <laughs> hopefully you do because it would just mean that everything's getting a bit more reused um which is way better next parcel is from clinique we've got take the day off cleansing balm i love this these so my favorite ones i would say is the elemis the clinique and the eve lom cleansing balms however like i said the aldi one that i've just finished was quite good I wouldn't say it was my favourite, I would say it took a little bit longer and a little bit more scrubbing to get eye makeup off, but it was good if you're looking for something inexpensive. However, this is one of my all time favourites, I really like it. I love the oil as well, I did have the oil, I finished that a couple of months ago, so love that one. But this is, yeah, one of my all time favourites, just love Clinique. We've got a Chubby Stick Moisturising Lip Balm in Mighty Mimosa, I'll get this out of packaging, Ooh. which is like a a pink if i remember right this isn't like a super dark pink it's just quite a nice like soft i would put it on but i've just put lipstick on but yeah really gorgeous color so i think what i might do is when this rubs off i'll put this on and show you what it looks like we've got the all about eyes rich under eye cream for puffiness which i thought would be really nice for just like waking up my eyes first thing in the morning and then we've got the even better clinical serum foundation in the shade wn46 this is great if you want lighter coverage so my my usual is 
if I'm going to the gym, I'll put like a really nice skin tint on. I was using the L'Oreal Maybelline mix that I bought. Um, really like them. I prefer the L'Oreal consistency to the Maybelline consistency. I just think it was a little bit nicer, a little bit softer and a little bit more kind of creamy on the skin. Whereas the Maybelline one I found didn't go as far. Obviously I used that though as like a color reducer and then the h2o one that i got from pixie is really really good i love that one i think it's great not as high coverage as the others but i think because that one is meant to be a specific tinted moisturizer whereas the others are more of like a really light foundation and this one is fab for you know if you want something that's like for those days where you don't want anything too heavy so in the winter i'm quite an estee lauder gal i love the estee lauder double wear i think it's great it's honestly one of my favorites i've used it for god years since like 2015 i think but this is a really good lighter one for the summer months i've only tried it for the first time i want to say in like november time or something it was like a few months ago but really like it i just think it is a bit lighter so for winter not my fave but for the spring summer months i think that's probably going to be my go-to because i just prefer something a bit lighter i like my freckles being seen i like something a bit less heavy on my skin whereas winter i'm like give me all the coverage clothing included so thank you very much for those clinique then we have a little bag of I don't know what. Let's have a little look. I have a feeling this might be a dress being returned from by rotation. We'll have a little look. I have a bone to pick with Royal Mail. I posted a dress out. Yeah, it is. I posted a dress out and um, it didn't arrive in time for the girl, which is really annoying because she basically, well, I mean, <laughs> she's opened it. But um, yeah, she, it was meant to basically be 24 hour delivery. So I posted it out on the Thursday and it was meant to arrive to her on the Friday. It didn't arrive to her till Monday. So it missed, missed the whole period, which is really annoying. So she didn't get to wear it, which is frustrating as anything because obviously she had an event that she would have wanted to wear something nice to, but it's just this dress. It's my odd muse one. I rent this out on bio rotation and it's absolutely gorgeous. The only thing is I do need some really nice white heels to go with it um, because I've tried different shoes with it and they don't look right. So I think it just needs like a really gorgeous creamy pair. And to be honest, I feel like, I feel like black would be a bit harsh, but yeah, I feel like a really nice nude pair or a nice white pair would be perfect. I've actually never worn this myself. Last parcel is ASOS. And I ordered a couple of options for this gala I've got tomorrow night. So I'm going to give you a little show through of all of the different options um, when I try them all on, which will probably be tomorrow morning, to be honest with you. And I'm going to decide based on which makes me feel the best, to be honest with you. So I got a couple of different options. And then I've also got the Nadine Marabi one, which I've already showed you. But these are stunning. So we'll see. We'll see what I think, because I've got weddings and stuff this summer that could be good for something as well. But this is the first one. Oh, I didn't realise it had a tie back. It's just like a nice satin number, which I thought would be nice with some little simple sling back. This is the first option. It does look a bit thin. It's double lined, but it does look a bit thin. This is a Topshop number and it's got like a tie back detail-y bit. Okay, I don't know how that works, but we'll, we'll work that out. So I thought that could be a cute option and also just nice for the summer, but we'll give it a go, see what we think. Then I've got... Oh yeah, this was like a two-in-one dress, but I'm not entirely... Oh, it is attached, okay. I didn't know if it would be like two dresses, and I thought if that's two dresses, that's going to be so annoying. But it's like two dresses... I don't know how to explain it, but they are attached. But, I mean, I don't know how to show you in the easiest way here, but it's obviously a gala, and it's quite fancy, so I don't know how fancy I want to be, but I did think this was gorgeous. So it's got like a cut-out dress... It's really hard to show you like this. It's got like a cut out dress underneath and then it's mesh. So I thought it could be quite pretty, but we'll see what it looks like on. Um, I'm just, I feel like I'm having one of those moments where I don't know what to wear because I'm not really a dressy person. We know this already. And it's obviously a gala, so it's quite fancy. And I don't know how fancy to be. I don't know how fancy is going to be uncomfortable for me. Like, I don't really know if I've got the right shoes for certain things. I just, I don't know. But, okay, let me, let me pop these postage bags in here. They can be reused alongside all of my other ones. Um, various little bits of logs in there. 
I do have the postage bags that I showed you guys before in the vlog, you know, the black ones. I think I linked them in last week's. I use those if I've got no others, but if I have bags that have turned up from other things, I use those first because I just think that it makes sense. Unless it's like by rotation and I'm sending out a dress to someone for like an event, then I use the new ones because I just think it's a bit nicer, but yeah, lovely. <laughs> I need to get my hair done and get ready to get some content done because today we're going to be doing some content and I filmed a few bits in my other room yesterday. I did a couple of haul video bits, so my vintage haul which is going up I think just before this vlog, I can't remember, but that kind of thing is looking quite nice in the other room so I think I might try and film another couple of videos in there because it is really nice and it is meant to be like my office room, it's just not the easiest to make content in, like I really miss my spare bedroom in my London flat because that was the most ideal for creating content. Like it was such a good room for mirror selfies, for like um, get ready with me, all that kind of stuff. Everything like that just worked really well in there. So I do miss it, but we're not gonna be in this house forever. Eventually in the next year or so, we are gonna be moving and we're gonna be in a beautiful new home and I will have a specific space for shooting content. We are going back and forth a lot on like what we want though. I think we're just gonna stop thinking about it now until it gets to the point of buying because the market just changes so much and right now I do not fancy paying the extortionate mortgage rates that we'd have to pay. So we're basically waiting for that to drop. I talk about this all the time, but we're waiting for that to drop. As soon as the mortgage rates drop, house prices drop a bit and the financial pot of ours has grown a bit, we're gonna buy. Cause I don't wanna use like all of my savings to buy a house. I wanna still have like a chunk left over because I'm trying to have like an emergency fund, a sinking fund and a house fund. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm really excited. I'm so excited for buying a house. I've never been more excited in my life. And I just, I'm really loving like pumping all my money in savings. I'm enjoying seeing my savings grow. I would say go back and watch the no buy update video because that's kind of where I go into detail about all this stuff. Um, same with the no buy initial one. But yeah, exciting times, exciting times. Quick little bite to eat. So I've just got sticky rice, which is formed in the shape of a container. <laughs> and then I've just got tofu, peppers, chucked on a little bit of spices and some sweet chili sauce. So very easy and quick. Good morning gang, from me and my second head that suddenly decided to appear as I've got a red carpet gala. We love that. But um, tonight I have the most exciting event ever. I don't tend to go to many fancy things, like I'm just not a fancy person. This year, as I've said a million times, is the year of really pushing myself out of my comfort zone. If there is an event that is not on a day that I already have something, I'm making sure that I go to it. There is a couple that have cropped up that are annoyingly like when I'm away and stuff, but I'm making a really conscious effort to like go out of my comfort zone, do the events, go back to being like the pre-COVID Jess who was like always at events, always out doing something. Like if you watched my weekly vlogs and stuff back then you'll know I was always somewhere like I was always on the go especially when I lived in London so that's my aim and in true let's be a bit more fancy style I couldn't wait to say yes like as soon as I got this invite through I knew I had to go so it's basically I think I explained yesterday but it's for like to know which is the um, affiliate platform that I and like pretty much every creator uses to link products now the affiliate platform if you don't know what that is Affiliate basically means that when you buy something through that link, I get a percentage commission. Now the percentages are never more than 7%. Most of them are between like two and 4% and it doesn't actually cost you anything more. So like, say for example, if you bought a top from ASOS, let's say, then you're paying 10 pounds from ASOS, that price won't go up. However, I will then get a percentage that's like a pound or something. Like it's really, really small amounts, but it just basically helps us to keep doing what we're doing. And it also helps to like track sales and track what's being sold, track who likes what, what's popular, etc. And obviously for brands, it's really good as well because we end up sharing them more because we're getting a bit of money for it. So really exciting because I've used like to know for literally my entire like career, like I've just always used it and, um, I just, I really love them as a business and a platform. So it's really exciting that I'm going. I'm really excited. I actually can't wait. I just popped to Primark to get a nice little push-up bra. Because I don't have one. And I, like, I have a strapless, I, I don't own bras. Like, this is as much of a bra as we get around here. So I went and got one because the jumpsuit needs, like, a little bit of something. I look very straight if I don't have anything. I've got all my shoes and stuff here. 
and like my bag that I'm taking. I'm gonna use my song mont, but I've took the strap off. So this is like the normal strap that I use, but you can clip it like this and make it more of a clutch. So I've done that. I've got my TikTok light. I'll leave this linked if you're interested. This is so good for helping you take pictures at night. So I've charged that up, that's ready to go. Makeup bag and stuff's here. Outfit options are up there. And then I did just pick up these two lip liners in Boots because I wanted a lip liner that goes with my everyday lipstick at the moment, which is this one. To be honest, I normally wear like basically this color in various brands, but this is the New Romantic Bobbi Brown lipstick lip gloss really really good and then I picked up these two I did go in without this so I kind of guessed but I've got heart race from revolution which is a beautiful color really really good payoff I say arguably I prefer this out of the two and then this is the Maybelline um color sensational in sweet pink but really gorgeous colors and they look really nice on I've lined my lips with the revolution one and I think it looks so nice together like the combination works really well for saying that I didn't take with me that's a really good combination, but I'll leave it linked because I think it was only like a pound. But I wanna get more into lip liners because I know they're really good for like making your lips look more full. So, yeah. to do it. Just put it over your shoe. I don't know the ultimate leggings just to confirm they do stretch. <laughs> oh my god. It's that last bit that's the worst. Oh my god you're so close. <laughs> now you got to do the other foot. The fact that you've now got to pull them up is the best part when it's such a busy train. <laughs> <laughs> my next trip. It's the fact you've now got to take your, you've got to pull them up. How are you pulling them up? <laughs> You're going to leave them like half time. Halfway up your thigh. <laughs> Did I vlog anything last night? Not really. I think that's a sign of a good night to be honest because it was so much fun. It was a bit weird because it was like my whole Instagram feed in one room and like people that I've spoken to online for years or like always comment on their pictures and stuff but everyone was in one room. It was just very bizarre but in a good way. My voice hurts. Like I literally think I'm losing my voice because I just didn't stop talking yesterday. Like I kid you not when I got in that room like we were all collectively saying that like, me and the girls I went with and stuff like you would walk into the room and then it was like you just every step you took you'd be like seeing someone else you knew or someone else would come over and it was like absolute chaos i was meant to be with my best friend re for most of the evening we did not see each other like we literally walked in together but she turned up with like a different group from where she came from and i came with my friend jade as well and we all like ended up in one big group and then everyone kind of just like sprinkled around and it was just it was so busy i barely saw her but it was a really nice event it was really fun really good to see everyone um and it was just quite nice to like be in a space where it was like just so many people that you kind of already knew so you could have a good chat to but i i'm definitely struggling voice wise today i do not want to socialize at all like i'm honestly i'm just in that mindset right now of like i just i don't want to i don't want to communicate with people like i want to just be in a hole and be a hermit and like just not speak to anyone <laughs> so that's probably why there won't be much vlogging today i have got a cute little restaurant like soft opening with my friend this evening though really random so i basically for her birthday last year, I messaged them and was like, do you have any options for dairy free? Like blah, blah, I can't see your menu online. And they replied and they were basically saying that they temporarily closed and they were coming back soon. And I was like, oh, okay, no worries. Like, don't worry about it. Then they messaged me the other day and said like, look, we're reopening. We're going to be trialing out the new menu with a few people. Like, would you like to come along with a friend and like, just try out the menu? And I thought, you know what? Yes, I would like to do that. So I think it's going to be like a taster evening just like trying the new dishes. I think they just want feedback on stuff. It's kind of giving, <laughs> you know, Vanderpump rules where like Sir would try new dishes and they'd put them all out. It's giving that, that's what I'm imagining. Or like, you know, um, 
what's the program is it hell's kitchen what's the program where gordon ramsay would like kitchen nightmares kitchen nightmares you know where he'd like redo the whole menu and put it out and they'd all test it i'm i'm envisioning they're going to be like bringing small plates and like small versions of the dishes they're going to be selling um they've said no social media but they said that like if we get any pictures that we'd be happy for them to share like can we just send them across so it's quite nice because it's like no pressure like it's not at all to do with like being an influencer it's just because i obviously had expressed an interest in the restaurant and they said look do you want to come and taste it and i think they like the fact that i don't really have meat or dairy because it gives them a chance to like really test out some vegan options which we know i'm not vegan but i don't really eat like red meat and stuff i also don't like shelf i have a very specific <laughs> diet of things that i like we know this we've watched the vlog a million times i can't have dairy i can't have eggs like i'm actually intolerant to those but i also just don't really eat any kind of animal product like the only animal product i actually eat is honey chicken turkey salmon and tuna that is the only five things i will have and i don't have them all the time like i still eat tuna and tofu uh, tofu and tempeh and stuff quite a lot but yeah we're going to be going to that which is quite nice and um james is actually on a stag weekend all weekend so he left um very early this morning like 5 a.m this morning i got in at two he left at five so we were literally ships passing in the night i barely remember him leaving because i was like goodbye <laughs> like in my little hole um but yeah he's away till i think it's like tuesday so i have a whole weekend to myself which is quite nice but quite weird so i've got the dinner tonight i'm shooting with tash tomorrow and then sunday i think i might take myself for like a morning swim try and do the food shop i'm gonna try and give the flat a bit of a tidy so like i'm washing the curtains at the moment because it really needed doing and i'm having like my weekend day to day because i'm working tomorrow so i just thought i'd get little odd jobs done and just you know see what see what we get done but i did get a little goodie bag from um the ltk event i don't know whether you want to see the whole thing i'm not going to show you i've already done the tiktok i'll link the tiktok down below because i just think it's going to take me forever to go back through but they did give me one thing that i was very excited about very excited about but also like do i talk about this because i sell them <laughs> wait i got a new stanley and it's in a really cute color i don't know what you'd call this color it's kind of like it doesn't actually have a thing that says the color on it i don't i don't know what you would call the color but it's a really gorgeous like bluey green i really like it um you're currently stood on my pink one and yeah i've got a new one the pink one i've got is like one of the og ones so it's actually not that great i don't really love it so i think i might sell it and just obviously like not sell with the straw just replace the straw but um the new one's really nice i will say however my good vibes ones are arguably better slash the same as like this type of stanley like i would honestly say they're probably made in the same factory because they are identical and just as good quality like mine are really really good quality so um i sourced them for ages i tried loads of different ones like i was really on it with like needing the best so yeah if you want to buy one i'll leave the link down below mine are 22 pounds these are like 60 but i'm very grateful to have one i need to get some work bits done i've just edited the weekly vlog for this week as you know they're like a week behind which is so much easier for me and also for filming i feel like i film more because i'm not hyper aware of how much i've got to edit on a sunday because when i did them like in order i used to like film all week stop filming on a friday and then edit on the sunday to go up on sunday so i kind of lost my weekend whereas by doing them a week behind i feel like i'm filming more i'm more into filming and i can edit during the week so it's quite nice because then i don't lose my weekend to editing stuff which is kind of what i wanted to not do this year like i want to get some more time back for myself so um yeah really really loving the week behind vibes i feel like you guys don't really care that much about them being a week behind like you can keep up to date daily on my instagram if you want to but i feel like the vlogs are quite nice because to be honest i don't really know anyone who posts real time weekly vlogs i think are a little bit more real time but even so like people i know or like follow i'll see stuff on stories and then they're posting the vlog like two three weeks later so yeah i just think it works really well probably should stop talking i've got stuff to do and my throat actually hurts and i have ordered myself a mcdonald's for lunch and it's only 11 50 but i was just craving a mcdonald's like really craving just i just can't be asked to cook if i'm honest i just can't bother and i don't have anything like easy to just nibble so i just ordered myself a mcdonald's and yes i am going out for dinner tonight and yes, I did have Burger King at two in the morning. <laughs> Honestly. I don't even know if you can really see me. But I'm going out for dinner. I'm going out for dinner with one of my friends. And I don't know what to wear. Like, I literally have no idea. I'm thinking maybe this. 
This is new in from River Island. It's really cute. It's like a little bandeau white top. I'm thinking this could be cute. I'm leaving my hair as it is. Um, I might... In fact, no. Do you know what? I'm not going to chuck curls in. I'm just going to put some oil in um, and hope for the best. Although this little bit here maybe needs like... Maybe I'll give it a once over. But I haven't done it today. I've just like half upped it. But I think this could be quite cute. Maybe. There we go. Okay, right. As I was saying... I think this is cute. Maybe this with like black boots. I don't know. I don't want to be like fancy. I just want to be like nice. Do I do jeans with it? I don't know if jeans are going to be too bumpy here. Oh, I just want to wear something new. But I don't know what. <laughs> I don't have to leave for like an hour. But I thought I would try and find something to wear now. So that I'm not flapping in an hour. I wish I had like a easy... I don't know. Okay, maybe let's just, let's just do this. Let's do this with tailored trousers. No, we're going to do this with black jeans. Okay, I'm probably going to change my mind in like 0.5 seconds. But I'm thinking this with black jeans could be cute. Like just some black. Black jeans. This ain't Texas. Hey, ain't no hold em. So lay your cup down. I don't know why that's stuck in my head. It's been stuck in my head all day. I think because it's like the TikTok song of the moment. You can't even see me. It's just really stuck in my head. I can't get you to... There we go. Hello. Hello, hi. I think Tex. Honestly, it's in a loop in my head. I'm off to shoot the Tash today. What a surprise. We all know this would happen. So I thought I would give you a little vlog because as we know, I'm home alone for the weekend and it's very bizarre. It's very, very bizarre. I've had like one conversation with James. He's having the time of his life. They're actually in Manchester. So they've done like top tip if your boyfriend has to plan a stag do. Manchester is actually a really good place to go. They've done this like activity center thing where they basically go for the day. And I think, I don't know for like for sure because I obviously didn't plan it. But I think it was like you get to go to this place and you have a whole day and they give you food and stuff. And then you pick like certain activities you want to do throughout the day. I don't very good for boys who just want to like ride dirt bikes around and like shoot things so they did that and they're going to the football today so I think they're going to have the time of their lives and they just sound like they're having the best time and the fact I haven't heard from him at all kind of confirms that they're having a good time because I think the better time you're having the less time you spend on your phone so I literally got like a hi I'm in Manchester we've had a good day now we're like going out for drinks all night and that's literally all I've had so fine they are having a great time I need to decide what to put on because, like an idiot, I've packed all of my clothes into my bag. So I've got my entire shoot day stash in here, apart from one outfit which is hung on the door that I need to not forget, actually. But I want to shoot these trousers. I took them to Australia with me, um, and I wore them quite a lot last year, but I want to bring them back out for this season, and I don't want them to get creased because they get creased so easily. So they're just hung up. They're a little bit creased now, to be fair, but they're just hung up, and then I'm going to wear it with this, which, by the way is in stock. I didn't realise because they told me it was limited edition. I didn't realise it was still on the website and apparently it has been for a while. So if you want to get your hands on the collection, I've got the t-shirt, the tote bag and the white version of this is a hoodie, um, but they're back in stock. So you can shop them again, which is amazing. So I will probably be linking it a lot more because I always feel really bad when I'm asked about that and I can't link it, but now I can. So yes, that's back in stock, which is amazing. Um, and the hoodie, where's the hoodie? Let me show you. This is the hoodie. So it's just like a white. It's got be the energy you want to attract there. Same as the um, t-shirt. And then it's got it on the back as well. Which is really nice. And the tote bag is in my car I think. It's one of my most used ones. Because it's a really good size. But oh, what do I put on first? No do you know what? I'm going to go for the bomber jacket outfit. So I'm going to shoot the bomber jacket that I just got in from um, River Island. It's this one. The whole video is coming. <laughs> I think in like a month, if I'm honest with you, it's coming in like a month, but they kindly gifted me some bits and this was one of them. So it's like a cropped brown bomber jacket, which is really, really lovely. So I'm going to pop that on first and then I'm going to wear it with, I was thinking like brown, nude, and then blue jeans. Not a combination I've done before, but I saw them and I was like, do you know what? Let's give it a go. This year, I'm really trying to push my style and still wear the things that I always wear and all the things in my wardrobe, but wear them differently. So that's kind of what I was doing with like the how I plan my outfits videos and stuff. Like I just wanted to see how I could wear what I've got in different ways. 
and this is one of the things I'm doing. Like these are all pieces, well, minus the jacket, the other bits are pieces I wear a lot, but never together. So I'm gonna give it a go. And I'm also packed some outfit bits that again, I don't normally wear, but they're in my wardrobe. I kind of, by doing the wardrobe maintenance, realized how many things I have that I don't wear. Um, or like t-shirts that I just forget are there. So we've gone for that today and they're in here and they're being bought with us and they're gonna be loved, loved. I do, <laughs> I do wanna wear my Saint Laurent t-shirt. I've had this for so long. This is a legit Saint Laurent t-shirt that I got for 20 pounds on eBay, 20 pounds. And I got it for 20 pounds because she didn't know if it was real or not. And I have since confirmed that it is, so. Love that for me. The label on the inside of it and this label, I like double checked it against the ones in the actual shop and they are, it's legit. It's a legit t-shirt. These are about 200 quid. So I might do this one because I haven't worn it in a really long time. I've got an Adnola one packed, but I think this is a nicer one. I just need to give it a quick iron and then I might hang it up with the others. Because I've got this one with me. I might just pack both anyway and see. Fit. But anyway, let me chuck on my clothes. I need to stop waffling. Tash is going to be here in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Guys, we're stuck in so much traffic. We're on. Our, we've done three outfits. Three. 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 And we are stuck in traffic. Tasha's lost her voice, otherwise she would be speaking. Hi. <laughs> I've got a cold and it's really hitting me off. You sound like you know when you used to call to work and like fake being ill and you'd be like, I am really I sorry, know. I'm sick. But this is the thing. Like I've lost my voice oh. and I don't have a cough. I don't have a blocked nose. I've just lost my voice. So that's great. But we move. <laughs> We're on the way to get Joe and the juice and buns from home. If you know, you know. We do this every shoot day. And I was just saying to Tash, I think when I get in, I'm gonna like whip my makeup off and just like be bare faced and comfortable and read Akatar. Cause I'm now, I'm 5% I'm from the end of the second book. So I'm nearly there. And then we're on book three. Boop, boop. Oh, oh. We're getting there. We're getting through the universe. It's took me a month so far to read two because I've not had the time. But like, we're getting there. I'm trying to read it. I'm on chapter three and I haven't read any further. The first, I think, like third of the first book is really hard to get through. Yes, it's very hard. You because just have to bear with for it. For someone who doesn't really read and is a very slow reader, I'm struggling. I also don't know why I was pointing at you while I'm talking. <laughs> but here you go. Oh. I'm sick. <laughs> This is my least favourite part of shoot days. I just can't be bothered to put it away. I have got a couple of parcels that were here when I turned up though, so I thought I'd show you because very exciting. So the first one is this. Oh, can you hear my washing machine? <laughs> I got a little set from Fenty Beauty. Now, if you've seen any vlogs before or anything, or you just know me, you know I love a Fenty gloss. I, the Fenty, I think it's called Fenty Heat. Or Fenty Glow. I want to say it's Fenty Heat, but it's one of these ones, and it looks like this. I am obsessed. I loved it so much that I bought it in the heat. Oh no, it's called Fenty Glow, and I bought it in the heat version of this. But I love them. I think they're so fab. I've got the clear one and the one I've just said, and then a heat one. So the heat one is like a lip plumpy one, and they've kindly sent me a little selection. So we've got the intense recovery lip masks. We've got the lip oils, lip luminizer, lip luminizer, and plumper and then a cooling lip luminizer, which says it's ice. So the heat and ice. I'm intrigued by ice. I'm like, what is mint and cool to refresh? But this um, gloss bomb heat one, I don't know what color they've, <gasps> they've sent me Fenty Glow. We have a top up of my favorite. This is what it looks like. Can you see the color of this? It's absolutely stunning. I flipping love it. That's my favorite. And then there's one here called Fuchsia Flex which is apparently a new colour. Oh, look at that. That looks very dark, but you know when that's on. I don't really have much lip gloss on, so we'll give it a try. Like when it's on, that's really not that vibrant. It's quite nice because it's like a subtle, 
subtle little bit of something but really love these they're really gorgeous lip colors and I, I quite like that it's a gloss but it's quite highly pigmented like this is very highly pigmented for like a really we know I love a gloss I'm not a lipstick kind of gal I do wear them sometimes but I'm more of a gloss girl this looks interesting this one's like the heat one so this is one of the ones that's um lip plumpy but look at the color of that stunning so we've got those and then we've got the ice one which I think might just be a clear oh it's clear but it's like blue interesting I didn't know they did ice ones but that's quite nice that'll be really nice for like summer especially when you just want something really simple in winter I tend to opt more for colors just because my lips go quite blue and I'm cold <laughs> don't need to add more cold but I think in summer it'll be really nice and then we've got the lip oils here which are so this one is Barbados cherry I wonder if they smell oh they smell good okay so that's Barbados cherry which is a conditioning lip oil and then this one is in Melon Treat. Melon Treat? No, Kal Kal Kalahari Melon. So it's like a little orangey one. I don't feel like these are going to come out as pigmented. Like, this is quite pigmented. These, I've got a red lip oil from Aldi, which is like a dupe of the Dior ones. And that's kind of like... I'm putting them back, by the way, because I'm going to do a video. But um, the one that I've got that's from... What's the name? Aldi the red is just like a really nice subtle bit of color which is quite nice and then these are plush puddings oh my god they're massive so these say they're intensive recovery lip balms now I was listening to a podcast that said when you go on a run put a lip mask or a lip oil on so that your lips are getting hydrated because obviously where you're running and you're breathing out your mouth more because I don't know about you but running I always breathe out my mouth more um it's better to have like a lip oil to keep your lips hydrated and like always run with like a slathered moisturizer as well so I think that's what I'm gonna do but these are look they're really cool actually they're just like little what do they look like Ooh, that's not what I expected so I'm assuming you like twist it up and then I'm sure I'm not going to do it just yet because I've got this on, but it says blanket lips with hydration for a petal soft pout, condition moisturise and smooth in melon scent for a light fruity flavour. And then the other one says it's got fruity extracts and rich oils, but they are quite cool. I like the little packaging. Fenty Beauty is actually really good. Their foundation I really like and the lip products I honestly I can't get enough of. I love them. I really love them. The glosses are just gorgeous and they have, is it Hydra Veil or Hydra Visor? Can't remember. That's really good as well. I really like that so recommend but that came in from Fenty so thank you to Fenty Beauty and then this one turned up this morning just before I left. <laughs> this, this is what we've got. This is from Kerastase. And it says new scientific innovation. Fancy. There's loads in here. New premiere, reignite your inner strength. Oh my God, if they've sent me this whole range. Woo. So we've got decalcifying, repairing pre-shampoo, decalcifying, repairing conditioner, anti-rigidity repairing conditioner anti-breakage repairing mask for anti-frizz serum shine oil oh my god there is so much in here i actually think they've sent the whole range of products oh my goodness there is so much in here oh my goodness oh my goodness wow thank you so much to kerastas for those that's amazing. I'm not going to get it all out because I've just told you what's in here. But it's a full little stash of products. I'm still using up my Whey ones. So I've got the Whey medium hair shampoo and conditioner. I'm on the last legs of it. I think I'm probably probably about two or three washes away from finishing it up. And then I'm going to give this one a go, I think. I was going to try the Selkie one, but I think I might give this one a go first. Because um, this one sounds really interesting. And my hair is in need of some strengthening at the moment. But um, 
that's the only thing i don't wash my hair very often i wash it like once a week maybe twice a week so hair products take me quite a while to get through but i to be honest just keep trying new things i do have some that i love and that i keep using but for the most part if i've been sent pr ones i won't buy new if i've got stuff in the cupboard so i try and get through that before i buy anything else so it gives me the opportunity to try things i can tell you what i like i know i'm not always the best at remembering to tell you what i do and don't like of things or like if anything's been particularly amazing but um I'm going to try and get better um, and I also got myself some of this on um, Amazon yesterday. This is Better You Body Spray Magnesium Oil. Apparently if you put this on the bottom of your feet it's really good for like relaxing, um, lowering cortisol levels, sleep etc. So I'm going to give it a go. It says you basically just spray it and massage um, and it's just really really yeah, really good for joints and muscles, supports relaxation, remineralization etc. I've seen amazing things about it so I'm going to give it a go. And we'll see but thank you to the brands for those i probably need to stop procrastinating and actually put away all of these bits now because i just need to put it away and i'm debating whether to get a takeaway or cook i know i should cook and i think i am gonna cook but the temptation is very much there but i think what i'm gonna do because it's like half four 20 to 5 i might just <coughs> because it's 20 to 5 i can't see i'm gonna um put all of this away and then make my dinner early and then chill on the sofa and read Akatov. <laughs> like I said, I've nearly finished um, A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm on the last like 5% of the book and then I'm going to buy number three and start that tonight. So we'll see how far I get. But I'm usually quite a quick reader and I feel like I'm reading really slowly but then they also are like juicy, juicy books. So the time it takes me to read one of these is the time it would probably take me to read two or three normal books because of the size of them and also I feel like I'm rereading stuff because I really want to soak in like what things look like and what the Ator is and what this is and like who this character looks like what they look like and like I'm really trying to soak it all in but I have dust in my throat I need to go get some water <laughs> have I come to bed early just to read A Court of Mr Fury yes I have I'm right at the end and I feel like something big is about to go down. I'm on page 582, 91% in. I know the last like chunk of the book is always the juiciest and I've heard the ending of this one is 10 out of 10 so I'm excited. I can't wait. I really want to just get into it so I'm gonna let my hair do its thing for a little bit, read the book, drink a cup of tea and then probably do need to sort my hair out at some point and the thought of it is not something that thrills me right now to be honest but it's fine we're gonna do some reading and we'll be good maybe I sort my hair first maybe that would be ideal I'm leaving it to air dry but maybe I'll just put the like serums and stuff in so it's not as annoying but oh I just can't wait to get into it I was reading it while I was making my tea like oh, this book just has me in a choke cold it's so good right hair first let your hair get in the way can't be defined by your mistakes You know you're trying, you're trying 